is what all kayakers would like to have. It helps to perform all strokes, plays a big part in a successful role and gives stamina on a long day's paddle. In this series of videos, we will look at, with the help of Mike and Ben, ways to strengthen our core and aid its recovery. Before we head over to the gym, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. So let's head over to the gym and meet Mike. Hi, my name's Mike, I'm one of the personal trainers at David Lloyd. I'm here to help you through a few core exercises to help you with paddle sport. These are focused on core rotation as well as lateral flexion that you can do in the gym or at home. So the first exercise I'm gonna show you is a side plank. We're gonna add a pulse to it to give that a little bit of that lateral flexion movement. So what we do is find a little bit of space at home or in the gym so you can get into a sideways position. So if you come into your sideways position here, uh, I'm gonna first we'll show you the very first, uh, most basic exercise you can do. So you've got your elbow on flat on the floor, your shoulder lined with your elbow. Come onto your knees for me in here. Lift up with your hips, okay? If that's hard enough for you, you can hold that there. If you want to make it a little more challenging, you can come down into a dip position, hips start off the floor, extend for your core, all the way down, all the way up. To make it a little bit more advanced, for those guys a little bit stronger, extend your feet out, legs nice and straight. From there, drop the hip down nice and low to the ground, come up nice and high. Okay, let's give it a go, let's do it 10 together. So nice and strong the whole way through. Good controlled reps, two seconds down, two seconds up. Can you give me three more? Good, when you're ready, we turn the hip down to the floor and come back into that seated position. So if you can, guys at home, pause the video and give me two more sets of those 10 reps. So the second move that we're going to focus on is that side plank rotation. Work from rotational movement through the core. Do it at home or you can do it in a gym. You need either a water bottle or a light dumbbell to perform this exercise. So go back into your side plank uh, position, but we did the very first exercise. So elbow on the floor, shoulder aligned with your um, elbow. If you come on your knees, this time grab your dumbbell that goes above your head. Hips off the floor. With here, good control as you rotate round underneath and then come back into that stuffer position. It's a big rotation, keeping a good tempo the whole way through. To make it a little bit harder, extend your feet out, nice and straight, and then bring the hips up. Here you perform the same movement, keeping your balance. And then return to that starting position there, so hips stay nice and high as you rotate around. Let's do 10 together for the guys at home. Good. Okay, let's go three more together. Keep rotating. Stability should be challenged now. Let's go for one more. And up, okay. Dumbbell comes to the side, hips come down, and rotate to that seat position. So make sure you do 10 at the other side, and then give it uh, two more attempts, 10 reps each side. So this exercise is a Russian twist. We're going to focus on that rotational through the core. We're going back into a seated position on the floor. There's two ways you can do it. Feet on the floor, make it more challenging. Take your feet off the floor. If you're at home, grab yourself a water bottle. If you're in the gym, grab yourself a light dumbbell. What you need to do is hold on either side. So beginner option, feet on the floor. To make it harder, raise your legs off the floor here. The idea is we rotate round the dumbbell or the water bottle. Don't let it touch the floor. And then rotate back round to the next side. Keep your back straight all the time. Try and keep your legs as still as you can. Try not to rotate your legs from one side to the other. Keep all in those core muscles. So guys, in it with me. Let's go 10 together. 
Nice steady pace. Rotate round, keeping that dumbbell off the floor. Keep your legs on the floor if you can. Let's go for one more on each side. And then when you're ready, feet come back to the floor. Put the dumbbell to the side. Take that breather. And then when you're ready, go back to two more sets of 10 reps on each side. So the third exercise I'm gonna show you is a lamb run rotation. So what you need to do is find a barbell at home or you can use a broomstick to have a barbell. Add weight if you want to. From here, you need to bend in the knees, keeping the back straight, pick the barbell up, bring it to about chest height. So hands aligned with the chest, elbows slightly bent, and then feet about hip distance apart, okay? From here, you wanna rotate round, keeping the elbows slightly bent, but use your core to drive that barbell up. So my hips aren't rotating, as all through the upper part of my torso, rotating this barbell from one side to the other. So just focus on a good tempo, good technique, as you rotate from one side to the other, and of course your core's got to be locked in every single time. Let's go for one more on each side. And then from there, keep your back straight, bend at the knees, return the barbell to that start position. So guys, give another go, two sets of 10 reps on each side. See how you go on. So the next exercise I'm gonna show you is a bent over row. Uh, you need either two water balls at home or two dumbbells this time. So what you need to do is grab both in both hands. From here, come knees slightly bent. It's really important to pull shoulder blades back and down to keep your back straight. From there, dumbbells should be around knee height. You're gonna pull your shoulder blades together. Okay, come all the way down, come all the way up. I'm trying to get full range of motion in that movement. Both hands working together. Working at that good tempo. Let's go for 10 together now, 10 reps, stick at that same pace, keep squeezing these shoulder blades together, imagine trying to trap a 50p between those shoulder blades. Let's go for one more and then you're ready, just stand back up, okay? Give me two more sets of the 10 reps, to see how you get on. So the next exercise I'm gonna show you, you can use a resistance band or a cable machine with a hand on it. So it's called a banded lawnmower. Uh, this one's going to target your legs, your glutes, biggest muscle on the body, and also that core rotation too, as well as strengthening those back muscles as well. The cable machine is attached to the lowest attachment there is. From here, come into a kneeling position. So my right foot forwards, my left hand holds onto the handle, my right hand on my hip. From here, I'm going to extend my legs up to a standing position, but I'm also going to rotate uh, my hands towards myself and rotate my torso. So, ready? So big stand up, big rotation round, Try and face completely this direction here, and then return back to that starting position near the floor. Big rotation round, it's really important to go slow with this. You're trying to keep your balance to really test how strong your core is. Return back to starting position. Let's go for 10 for the people in the gym with me. Nice rotation round, pushing off both legs, rotating those hips, rotating that torso too. Let's go for two more. Good, last one, keeping a good tempo. And then return back to that split lunge position. Okay, make sure you do 10 at the other, other way. Have a good breather. And you've got two more sets of 10 reps on each side.
So they're the exercises that you can do at home or at the gym. Give them a go as many times as you can in the week. Use the progressions and the regressions that we've given you in terms on your fitness levels. You can increase your fitness levels with that by increasing the weight, increasing the amount of sets that you do, or increasing the amount of reps that you do. Let us know how you get on.